Hi, Vanner Fanner family, and those new to the channel and subscribing, welcome to the Vanner Fanner family. I'm Crystal Vanner, and yes, I do live in my van. Welcome to my channel. I'm Crystal Vanner, and I live in my van. Please watch the whole video so we can grow the family, the channel, and the content. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this pack. So I was contacted by a company who I've worked with before, but they reached out to me again to review this jewelry travel pouch. Now you guys know blue is not my favorite color, <laughs> but um, I still want to review the overall jewelry pouch itself. That deal. So this is where, and I'm going to put some pictures on the screen, but this is where you would put your necklaces. You would thread them through the loop here. And then you would use the snaps to snap them on. And I have a couple of necklaces I'll be threading on there just to show you. They have clear zippered pockets here for any odds and ends. You mean whatever you want to put in there. They've got one big pocket in the back. Maybe you would put your real diamonds back there because you can't see through that. So you could kind of hide them if you have some real expensive jewelry. You've got the see-through middle pouch here. So you could see rings, earrings, whatever you want to put in there. And then you've got an even smaller one down here that's divided into two parts. That would probably hold some little stud earrings or some rings for your fingers. Then on the back of this center fold out, you've got another um, double pouch split in the middle that's clear. And then on the other side, underneath the fold out, you've got a place for actual rings. So you would take this soft padded um, cushioned and un unsnap it. You would slip your rings on there and then snap it back in place. And the snaps are beautiful. I'm telling you, these snaps, beautiful. These are the kind of snaps that I like on a purse or a bag because they've got a little magnet in there. So it kind of catches it as you get close. So effortless, just Oh, beautiful. You hear that click? You hear that click? Effortless. Um, here's another one. This has holes in it. This plastic has holes in it for stud earrings or it just whatever dangling earrings that aren't too, too long. And I'll put some earrings on that to show you. Oh, I have this upside down. My bad. <laughs> this is a little pouch with an elastic. I would say maybe if you had a couple of rings that are in boxes, maybe you could stick the boxes in there is what I'm thinking, maybe. This also is a plastic with holes in it for um, earrings, I'm assuming. This, the cool thing about this is this one snaps all the way off along with the other plastics. Or maybe you're going into the gym or something and you just want to take this in with you to decide what jewelry you're going to wear. Or if you're traveling and you just are doing a weekend trip and you want to put a couple of pieces on here and take that with you instead of taking your whole pack, you could do that. Again, beautiful snaps. These are a little bit stronger snaps. You kind of need two hands for that, so beautiful snaps. Anyway, on the back or the front, I guess whichever way you choose to carry it, there's another pouch here. Plenty of room for jewelry. I don't know anybody who really needs that much space for jewelry, but I guess because I live a very minimalist lifestyle, like I can't even fill this if I put everything I have on here, I wouldn't be able to fill this. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the video camera in a position where you can see what I'm doing. What I'm going to do is take my jewelry. I have downsized my jewelry over the last couple of years. So all I have really are a few things of jewelry. Let me pull them out and I will show them to you. So the only jewelry I have are these. These are my daily wear earrings. I wear these pretty much every day. Uh, I do have my bigger earrings in here. My wood earrings stay in here. I have a couple of um, other items that are just too big for this pouch. Some of them are wood. Some of them are metal. Some are just, you know, kind of random things. One is One was a gift. And so that's here. And then I have my more fun and funky kind of jewelry here that I use. It's kind of, um, these are kind of like statement pieces almost. They're not, I mean, they're not real. They're none of them. I don't think are real silver or anything. Cause I only wear silver. I do not like gold tones. Um, but they, they're kind of interesting and neat. And I think when I wear them, people always ask about them. So these are kind of like those, that kind of jewelry here. 
So I'm going to situate the camera in a position so that you can see my lap. Um, I might put the little table here so that you can see what I'm doing as I'm putting my jewelry into this jewelry part pouch. Okay, here I am with my, um, my jewelry and the pouch. I think I'm going to start with, most of this tends to be small. I do have three sets that are earrings and necklace sets. So, um, actually four, I forgot there's a fourth one in there. So four sets of earrings and necklaces, but mostly everything in this brown pouch is pretty big. So I think what I'm going to do is start with that first, get that put in the pouch and then come back to the earring and necklace sets because I know the earrings and necklace sets can go on this side. So I think that's what I'm going to do as far as that goes. So I do have this leather medallion that was gifted to me um let's see i do have this is one of my favorites that i uh haven't worn in a while I should probably start wearing this again but i bought this piece as a uh, memorial piece for my aunt that passed who always wore silver and turquoise jewelry now again this is not real this is just metal and um, fake, you know, it's plastic actually. It's not even real turquoise, but it just reminds it reminds me of her. It makes you know, I think of her when I'm when I'm feeling very sentimental or emotional or kind of she's in my thoughts. I kind of tend to wear this um, piece. This is my biggest piece because this is metal, so I can't fold this down. This necklace. So this is the one I'll probably start with to figure out where I can put it. Maybe in that back um, zippered pocket it can go. Um, let's see, what else do we have? We have this bracelet that I bought at an African American, um, you know, Black History Month event. I had a pair of, um, I think earrings and I think they fell apart, but I was already gone. I was out, it was out in Vegas and I was already, had already left Vegas. This was another gift that I really, really love. Um, this is from Honduras. I have a friend um, who I've lost touch with uh, over the years, but she gave me this when she took a trip um, back home to Honduras. Uh, these, again, are the wood earrings. These are all my um, Black Pride kind of earrings and showing off my African and Black love. So <clears throat> we'll start with these pieces because these tend to be uh, the bigger of the pieces that I have. So let us start with these. Again, we're going to start with, and I'm just going to sit this on the chair. We're going to start with this turquoise set and see if it will fit in the pouch, zipper pouch in the back. So we'll look um, right here as to where that zipper pouch was. So let's see if we stick it back there. And as you can see, it will not fit because I can't zip it. So there's one other place. We have a zipper here. Let's see if it'll fit there. This is the one piece that I always have a difficult time putting anywhere it just does not work anywhere as you can see it's not going to work here either <laughs> and I often keep saying that I'm going to just put this on a chain one day and I still think I am I'm just going to go to the craft store and get a sterling silver chain and just um because the way it comes off is you you push it and this comes off and that's how you put it on your neck so I think what I'm going to do is just one day slip this off get a nice heavy duty sterling silver chain to put it on and just wear it as a chain. I really find um, that this is really, this is really cool. This is a cool way to wear a necklace. I love the way this necklace is made. However, <laughs> it is just not conducive to um, putting it somewhere, storing it somewhere. I this This does not collapse down. And so what I'm going to do is put it in the zipper pouch anyway. And it's just going to stick up and that's just the way it's going to be because at least this is closed up in here and it won't fall out anywhere except if it falls out it's only going to fall out onto into the pouch so i'm not going to worry about it so then i'll take the two earrings that go with it and i'm going to slip them down into this zipper pouch that has the divided section that way they are together short one and it's not going to drape very far. I'm going to just, let's see, that's not going to work. That's not going to work because of my beads and I don't want to crush them. So where else could we put this necklace? We could put it in this pouch here. Just fold it in half and tuck it in there in that elastic pouch like that. We could do that. That may move. 
I may put it in this zipper or this zipper. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to take this, um, this bracelet and where should we put it? I don't really have any rings. The only ring I have really is the one on my finger and it's a frog ring. People ask me about this ring all the time, but it's a frog ring. It is not a wedding ring or anything like that. I'm thinking we can put the bracelet in here like that. Again, this stuff may change, it may rearrange, we'll see. Now, the African medallion, I think can go on the other side, will it fit? Mm, that's gonna be tight, let's see. I think we're gonna just share a pocket <laughs> for those two. Yeah, I really feel like I've got to go get this put on a, um, yeah, it just doesn't do it any justice, it really doesn't. All right, now, as far as these big earrings here, the wood earrings, I do not 100% think they're going to work in this pouch, but we shall see, because I have several of them. Here's another necklace. We can put that in one of the other zipper pockets. Here's the other lady. Here are my two hairdress headdress ladies, and here's the other earring for the Africa continent. Um... Yeah, these are going to be difficult to find a place for. Can we fit this necklace on this side? Probably. Yes. It's tight because of the round necklace that's in there. It's kind of tight. All right. Now, these earrings, in theory, should all go right here. But because they hang down quite a bit, I'm not so sure how that's going to work. Because if you remember... I still have all of these earrings. So why don't we do these three earring and necklace sets before we start dealing with these bigger hanging down type earrings. Let's just move these all over because the earring and necklace sets can go here. put as many earrings on back and front as we can and they'll just have to lay on top of the ring thing I guess <laughs> this is gonna be interesting of jewelry that seems to be left and it is a frog necklace I believe this is sterling silver I believe I think this might be one of the few sterling silver pieces that I have the earrings I'm wearing currently are also sterling silver but the chain broke on this it was a very skinny cheap dainty sterling silver chain and it completely broke in a spot where you couldn't fix it so until I buy a new chain, I'm kind of just holding on to this <laughs> froggy because I used to wear this every day. 
And I think that's why it broke because I was just wearing it every day and it really shouldn't have been worn every day because it was a very thin, 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 cheap chain. Probably not meant for everyday wear. So I'm going to unzip this pouch and drop it in the other side of this see-through pouch there so that I remember to get a new, um, a new one. So I do have two pair of earrings from back when I used to sell wooden jewelry. Um, these I just tend to give to people. Uh, I had about five pair at one time and I just tend to give to people as I meet them. So, um, yeah, because I, I have one of a black pair with black outline hanging up in the van as a keepsake because this is, you know, I wouldn't wear it. It's not necessarily my style, so to speak, but, um, I mean, I could wear it. I wear these wood earrings, but I tend to like black. So anywho, black and red, those are my go-to colors or red and black, I should say. Black more so when it comes to clothing. All right, now is this going to close? I don't think this is going to close. So much for that, eh? <laughs> I think this is not going to close. Yeah, it's going to close. It's tight, but it closes. So it closes. It's nice to have all of my jewelry in one thing. I do like the fact that that is all in one thing instead of this container, this baggie, and this baggie. Now when I go to change earrings or want to dress up or whatever, I can just take this. I can even throw this in my gym bag, which would make me more um, likely to actually change jewelry more often because I have it all in one bag. So I could even leave it in there or just toss it in there on the days that I go to work out. So I know that this was an extremely, extremely long review video, but you got to see my thought process behind every detail of putting all the jewelry in this bag. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support and love. You can help grow the family by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Get your own Vanner stickers, tees, and hoodies. And for exclusive content, check out Patreon.